Hi, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you my uh, deck for the light and dark master duel event. Uh, so uh, I play for this event Magical Muskets with uh, Mac Knights and uh, the most dominant deck of this uh, event is Labyrinth and for this deck it's the free win because Labyrinth sets uh, a bunch of cards and I can uh, special summon uh, three or four sometimes monsters with magical musket max and uh, mech knights also benefit from your opponent uh, having a lot of back row so uh, this is the uh, deck list i'm going to show you some replays after the uh, deck breakdown so for the main deck i play uh, three magical musketeers caspar one dog two kid brave three starfire one calamity one wild so this is the basic lineup for the magical muskets yeah i play 11 of them and uh, next for the mech knights uh, three blue sky one yellow star one red moon uh, three uh, purple nightfall and for the spells one monster reborn uh, i play monster reborn because uh, sometimes your opponent can uh, destroy uh, the normal summon and uh, so i can revive it and uh, also it's a free uh, normal spell that i can uh, set to special summon a mech knight or i can use it uh, behind the magical muskets next three upstar goblin it's a plus one if i activate it under the uh, magical muskets uh, World Legacy Saxerson, uh, I can search it with uh, the Morning Star, and uh, afterwards I ha I have this card in Grave, so I can special summon Leap. Uh, next, three Dark War no more. Again, it's a uh, free negate uh, af if I use it under the Magical Muskets. Three uh, Link into the Rains so this card is really powerful because uh, you can special summon a monster from your hand and immediately a link summon and the opponent cannot respond for the whole uh, summoning window so the max resolves with, uh, without your opponent has a chance to negate it next two uh, cross domination one world legacy memory two Desperado, uh, one Dancing Needle, one Last Stand, uh, one Vorlogacy Secret, and two Crocker Cook. Uh, so I play two Crocker Cook because um, the normal summon is important, so if I, if your opponent activates a um, destruction effect, I can chain the Crocker Cook and special summon a, another Magical Musket from my hand. And for the extra, uh, almost never go into the exploited monsters mostly i go only for max uh, morning star leap and avramax but i also play the uh, fortune tune uh, paladin imo exit the night zeus and for the links three magical musket max two morning star two leap one uh, spectrum supreme one nightmare griffin one Evermax, and one under vocalist so that's basically the deck i will show you some replays uh, so this is the result of um, me playing the deck i have a pretty high number of wins with this deck so I will show you some replays. Uh, I think this was against the Labyrinth deck. Oh no, this is a uh, against the Abyss Sector. Okay, this uh, this was pretty funny. 
because mm, my opponent summons uh, his whole hand, but it doesn't really help him. So this extra curtain makes hyper director wild hope hyper wild hope special summon make super producer and activate its effect to make a scale and pendulum summon reset every script activate Mel Madonna special summon okay so uh, the opponent has a uh, Abyss script set and I drew the Chronomorph I activated it before uh, summoning the Medical Musket because if uh, the opponent would uh, activate the effect of uh, Super Producer he would have access to the Fruit Spell and with the Fruit Spell he could change the one of my effects to pop the uh, set card so uh, I summoned Pad Animal because uh, I needed to clear my uh, field because uh, I was too clocked I needed to activate the uh, or let us see reward card and I'm slowly clearing the pendulum scales activate the dog to head back Calamity, make leap, leap effect, set for the Gassi Secret, Red Moon, destroy Mellow Madonna, make Evermax, leap effect, shuffle back the set card, and destroy everything. And that's there is no way the opponent could come back from this. Okay, now activate the last uh, the Vologacy secret. Even if I don't have any McKnight engrave, I want to search the last stand. And I would with Dog I would get back Desperado so I could pop the other scale. Okay, next game. Okay, this should be, uh, yeah, this is the replay against the uh, Labyrinth. So, welcome Labyrinth search. Activate the chandelier. Set the welcome Labyrinth, set two more. So, normal summon. Starfire, make max, activate its effect, opponent wants to negate it, I can destroy it, so uh, the last win will resolve without the effect. Search yellow star, make morning star, search for the succession. Vanish, destroy, set, activate Starfire, special summon. Okay, and this is the line. Every turn, uh, going for the Morning Star, leap, ever max, and beat the opponent. And the last replay. This is also a funny one. I don't want to. Uh, show you more than one labyrinth game because uh, almost every third game was against the labyrinth and this is when my opponent let me go first so activated uh, after goblin to search uh, to special summon casper and I went for the max because uh, I needed a 
card in grave so I can revive it and uh, search a disruption. And my opponent plays extravagance and plays a really gimmicky deck. I don't know why he's playing this kind of deck. He went minus six. And the problem with the uh, medical muskets is that they are really small, so I cannot OTK the opponent. Theoretically, maybe I could if I set uh, one of the dark color modes, push some on the blue sky, but whatever, this game is over. for the game okay uh, that's it for the video let me know in the comments what do you think about this uh, deck and if you like this content uh, make sure to like the video and subscribe thanks for watching and see you next time